Morning champions, how are you doing? And welcome to another episode of Cooking with Screaming Chimp. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to just do a simple omelette, but I'm going to put some olives, uh, grate some cheese into it. Um, I'm going to put some Screaming Chimp chilli sauce in. I'm gonna, uh, today we're going to use the original hot sauce. Um, the first one that I really came up with, well, uh, it's, a, it's a sort of scaled back version of that first one that I came up with for my sister Emily. Uh, for a man beats food, chicken wing eating competition, no less. Uh, yeah, anyway, I won't tell you what it's called, you can find that online. Um, I also, I'm going to use the wasabi's yuzu mustard. I'm going to mix that, uh, whisk that into the uh, egg uh, to do the omelette with. That's absolutely delicious, I love putting mustard in, in omelettes, it's wicked. Uh, also, I'm going to use some, uh, some of these trio of Spanish omelette, olives. Uh, these are really cool. Uh, you get a, quite a good, uh, you know, you get some stuffed uh, pimento, black, and uh, some uh, herby garlic uh, olives in there as well. We've got our pinch pots of freshly done black pepper and Himalayan pink salt. And then in here, we've just got some olive oil, uh, some lovely, nice olive oil. So, yeah, let's, uh, all right, I'll get my apron on and let's have a little cook. So... Yeah, so first of all, we're just going to break... I'm only going to do a two-egg omelette, because I'm not massive... Uh, I, I, I'm not too bothered about the three-egg omelette situation. Uh, but we're just going to break these into the bowl. Another little... Nice, healthy-looking eggs. Good stuff. Get that little bit out. See? You get a little bit out. You know, every now and again, if you get a little bit of shell in there, you can get that out with... Uh, Right, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to pinch in some black pepper. Don't need much. I'm going to put in a teaspoon of the yuzu mustard, which is really delicious. I love it. Um, and that's that for now. Um, whisk those together. Takes a little bit of um, amalgamating, to be perfectly honest with you, but it, it it works out better once it's cooking. Give it a little spin as you go, and there we go. It's all mixed together. Happy days. Right, so we're gonna get our pan on. I'm using a very light. Uh, uh, it's actually a, it's actually a pancake pan uh, with actually a recipe on the back for pancakes, which is pretty cool. Uh, not that I actually follow it, I've got my own recipe. Uh, but yes, this is really nice and light and cooks very quickly. So what we'll do is we'll get a little bit of olive oil on there. I need like a tablespoon, uh, you know, like a two tablespoons, a tablespoon. Oh. It's early. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it won't take very long for that oil to heat up, and uh, that's gonna be ready for our eggs. So yeah, uh, on the other video, I didn't actually talk through the rest of the chili sauces, uh, so I'll talk you through Stinger now. Stinger uh, has got Naga and Maruga Scorpion chili in it, but it's 5%. It got a great taste award from the Guild of Fire Food. As you can see, it's tomato and onion based sauce. Um, it's delicious. I love it. I'll be cooking with that one next, probably. Um, it's, it's, it's warm. Uh, it's really good for putting into curries. Like, if you don't have enough um, heat in your curry that you buy, like, if you've got a favourite flavour, but it's not hot enough and you don't have any fresh chilies, it's really good because we only use uh, fresh chilies in our sauces. So, yeah, so now we are... The oil's heating up. We've coated our pan all over, just going to whack that in, give it a little stir, right let's get rid of that, right okay I'm just going to fill that gap again, there we go, now I'm going to turn this down a bit because I do want this egg to cook all the way through before it burns, now next thing is I'm going to pop the olives in, A little bit of olives in my uh, omelette. 
in the morning or afternoon, doesn't really matter when. I also like doing this, I'm not gonna be turning this, you see. Um, I'll be folding it, but I won't be turning it. Now at this point, get the uh, get your, your, your little grater um, for cheese. And I like putting a bit of cheese in while it's still moist like this, while it's still wet. All the way round. Now this, I um, have lactose free cheese, but you can use any cheese you want. I used to use a nice red Leicester for this. Really good cave age red Leicester. Um, absolutely delicious. Uh, absolutely delicious. There we go. We've got plenty of cheese in there. That's doing really well. I think that's enough. So out of that, I've, I've got that left. Out of that little knob that I had, I've got that left. Um, so that's lovely. Now at this point, while it's cooking, I don't put salt in beforehand. I'd give a little sprinkling of salt. Now I don't want much because the cheese has salt in it. Um, so yeah, and at this point, this is where we come in with the screaming chimp chili sauce. So we'll give it a little shake up, make sure that it's all, it's all mixed up because uh, the original hot sauce is slightly a run air uh, sauce. So what we then want to do is just dribble that everywhere, all the way around. Depends on how much you want in your uh, omelette, but I like that kind of amount. <laughs> now we'll get our plate out of the cupboard and we're nearly ready. Let's give this a little wipe down. This area, move this stuff out of the way. So, we're just looking really, we're looking at these edges. Have a look at the edge, you can see the edges browned there. And you can see underneath, oh, look at that. Look at that, it's absolutely lovely. So, all we're gonna do at this point, I'm just gonna, because this side is not cooked as well, can you just have a look at that there Vic? Just around this edge here. It's just got a little bit more liquid. So I'm just moving it over the flames a little bit more on that side. Because you can, you can see how it's puffed up nicely as well. It's lovely and it's puffed up. You can see the bubbles come in there from the olive oil. Um, but this is, yeah, this is just a little bit underdone here. So I'm just going to keep that on that side. As you can see, it's just over the flame there. On that side, instead of being in the middle. Um, Normally, this don't happen. Normally it's it's uh, nice and easy and it works really well. <laughs> now at this point, if you want to do this, I'm not saying you do have to, but what I like to do at this point also, we have some mixed herbs in this cupboard. Now I'll just take a little sprinkling so I can sprinkle them where I want them and aim it properly. And I just put, sprinkle some mixed herbs all over that. So when you're, uh, as, that turn, as that turns over, which is what we're gonna do now, we turn that over, that will soften those herbs. Look at that. Now that is perfect. So we'll come over to the plate. And that is your Screaming Chimp Omelette. Nicely done. Now as that, like I said, as that is, um, that's still cooking, so that will soften the herbs. Uh, we can just, you know, we can just take a couple of leaves of, uh, of basil, just make it look nice. Um, obviously you can eat the basil as well. Um, and of course the basil, because of the heat, it will turn blacks very quickly. So there we go. There is our Screaming Chimp, uh, original hot sauce and yuzu mustard omelette. I hope you enjoy that. Just remember to keep on chimping at screamingchimp.com. And uh, yeah, we'll keep on posting new uh, recipes on our YouTube channel. Um, and yeah, just keep on chimping. Love you all. Bye for now.